नमस्कार माय नेम इज हार्तविंदर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस दिस आईजीसीएससी पेपर 31 फेब मार्च 2021 ऑन दिस पेपर पेब ऑथरिंग पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस टुडे firstly uh, you have to supply uh, you have been supplied with the following source files uh, source files we have already uh, these files we are already supplied with and uh, task 1 we have to create evidence document this evidence document i have already created and uh, <coughs> make sure your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of the document save the evidence document in your work area Uh, as this followed by your center number candidate number for example like this uh, you will need uh, your evidence document during the examination place screenshots required so this file i have already saved in my work area and uh, i have already applied uh, pasted here in a footer in a header section my name and center number and candidate number you can apply here in insert and then you can go in header and uh, here in a header option you can uh, place this very first task 2 is image editing and file management create a new folder called ocean ocean folder we have already uh, created ocean folder in work area i have created ocean folder and here i copied all the files which they have asked for uh, locate the following files store them in your ocean folder open the uh, this image in a graphic package edit the image by rotating 90 degree clockwise reflecting it horizontally and cropping to remove the test cropping it so all the whale shark is visible and cropping image is 500 pixels wide and 1200 pixels high save this new image uh, in your ocean folder in .png format using the file name ws followed by your candidate number so this uh, by this name you have to save and you have to edit uh, your image so in ocean folder this uh, image uh, we need to modify in any graphic software i am using this uh, gnu uh, gimp so i will open in this and uh, they have asked it to firstly uh, rotate it 90 degree clockwise so you can go in image and uh, transform rotate 90 degree clockwise uh, then they have asked to flip it uh, flip it horizontally so image and transform flip it horizontally uh, then they need they asked to crop it uh, and, uh, and they mentioned while cropping this text should not be visible and uh, should be 500 pixel wide and 1200 pixels high so this a crop tool i can use here here and i can mention here uh, is size width wise it should be 500 and uh, height wise it should be 1200 pixels so now you can do the adjustment accordingly so that complete uh, picture of this shark should be visible so then double click and it is cropped out and now we need to export it export as uh, in work area ws and followed by your candidate number and then extension is dot png i'll save it in ocean folder here and uh, export Oh, then they have asked for the evidence. Uh, evidence uh, take screenshot of folder showing place of evidence document. Make sure your folder name, all file names, file extensions, image dimensions, and file size are clearly visible. So here you can see file names, extensions, and sizes are already visible. So you can take it screenshot. select the area uh, to grab so here yeah, you can show this folder name as well and uh, in ocean folder on desktop uh, this uh, evidence one evidence 
one a. Uh, they have asked for the dimensions also uh, specifically this pictures uh, it's not showing dimensions for this purpose you can go in the properties and uh, here in image you can see the dimensions width 500 pixels and height 1200 pixels so for this also we can place the screenshot screenshot uh, for this also we can take the screenshot evidence 1b so we need to place these screenshots uh, in our evidence document uh, so you need to write here evidence 1 to so firstly insert and uh, images on desktop these are two images 1a and 1b firstly 1a and then I can insert the image 1p Now we can insert the another image uh, that is uh, 1B. So this text uh, we can remove it. So here you can write evidence 2 and uh, we will paste it uh, evidence 2 here. Next, uh, uh, this evidence six marks question we have already covered. Now we'll start with the web page task three or third task we are going to perform now. You are going to create a web page and style sheet to promote ocean conservation. The web page and style sheet must work in any browsers. All color code except uh, those provided in the source file must be hexadecimal make sure that your style sheet contains no html make uh, your html and style sheet as efficient as possible means uh, you should uh, use efficient code means repeated uh, code should not be there avoid try to avoid how much you can uh, avoid the repetitions create in your ocean folder a web page called ocean.html i'm using editor or you can use any uh, web designing web editor so i am using this test editor for this purpose uh, for creating a page we have to save this page ocean.html in our ocean folder you can click here and uh, desktop here in work area ocean folder i will give the name ocean.html That is ocean.html ocean.html okay htm uh, not html so later on we will change it's so no problem uh, this is a, a web page must be created using a single table and uh, work in all browsers the table must fit 80 percent of the browser window the table must have a structure as shown in the diagram so this diagram uh, structure we have to make for this 14 marks each table cell is defined with the letter some dimensions are shown these must set as percentage value and uh, not in pixels the cell contains uh, shows in the diagram must not appear on your final web page the table border must not appear on the web page so this let us start we have to create this page uh, this uh, table so firstly we will start html tag and uh, let me save it first and then uh, add 
and in that we need to write title title they have uh, any title uh, we can apply right now later on if they will ask for any then uh, we can give that particular title uh, then we will start body in that we need to start table as they have mentioned width uh, we need 80 percent uh, and for right now we can show the borders uh, so we can easily see our structure of our table later on we will remove as they have asked we have to make this table its height is 15 percent uh, and width they have not mentioned width 80 uh, percent uh, height 15 percent so for the time being uh, height also i can apply 80 percent later on we can remove after uh, making the structure of this table so firstly we need to start the row first row and uh, this row has uh, call span 1 2 3 4 maximum call uh, columns in a table are 5 4 1 2 3 4 maximum columns are 4 so for this purpose we will call span 4 for the first row so you will start tr and in td uh, call span 4 and td close and then you will also close the tr so save it and uh, check uh, is it working or not uh, we will keep on checking our table uh, i can open in any uh, suppose brave web browser any browser you can use it is becoming good so let us start further uh, this column, uh, uh, the second row and this column, the first column is a combination of one, two, three columns. It is merging three columns. So we will apply here call span three. So here we need a height also 15% uh, that we forgot. So here you need to apply height. It is a 15%. So again, we will start here and TD. In that call span is and uh, height uh, 45 percent and width 75 percent width 75 percent and uh, height uh, they have asked 45 percent 45 percent and we will close td and we will close td we will check and uh, so it's becoming good uh, then the second column this column we have made and the second column in the same row it is a row span of three rows three rows are merged here so again we will start here td or row span equal to three and uh, height and width uh, height and width you can check width is 25 percent okay Width is 25% and we'll close this and we'll check it. So, okay, good. Then uh, the second is same but height is 10% uh, like uh, on this column. Again, uh, this will start a row and we'll start a TD call span 3. And uh, height uh, they have asked for 10%. Height equal to 10%. And uh, we'll close TD. Uh, we'll save it. Uh, the second column is already covered here uh, by row span 3. So this we will not need to make. Uh, we can check here again. So it's good. So next they have asked uh, three columns uh, uh, first width 25 percent 20 25 percent 20 and 25 percent 20. so again uh, next row will start and uh, will close the row and will make a first column uh, width 25 percent 25 percent and height 20 percent and will close the dd and three times we need the same and the third, fourth column is already covered by the row span. Uh, we have already applied row span 3 here. So this is good uh, becoming. 
next question is uh, each table uh, next is a uh, last row it is also a cos span of four columns and uh, 10 percent height so the last row uh, let us make last row here so this is a last row td all span of four columns and td will close and will check so it is uh, good the table contains shown in the dimensions not appear this 14 marks uh, task we have covered now place in cell a the image the first column we need this image uh, so copy this image uh, add in b placeholder fill the width of the cell containing the video uh, to fill width of the cell containing the video this display automated text based error message if the browser does not support this type of video and see image ws uh, which we have created in step one so firstly uh, we have to apply this image and marks task is this uh, inner a column means this first column uh, how to apply this image src and then address of that image and close and let us check is it uh, applied it's not showing something has happened wrong here so what is the mistake we have forgot to close these uh, double quotes so this image has been applied so the next is in b a placeholder fill the width containing a video we need to uh, place this video in B column. Placeholder B. B is which one? And this one is a B. The second row, first column. Uh, second row, the first column is this. Here we need to apply the video. You can apply video and then uh, SRC and then uh, controls and auto play. So let us check is it applied or not. So image is already been applied or you can play also. But this uh, width uh, is not covering well. You can apply width is equal to 100%. So this is uh, applied. To next move further and that uh, for applying a video you can use the tag video uh, then source the address of that video then controls then autoplay and uh, we have mentioned the width of that video uh, net, next question we need display automated test based error message if uh, the browser does not support this uh, video so here we need alter alt attack uh, alt otherwise it will show alt this video does not support by browser so you can save it so in C column that uh, step one we have made uh, this uh, here we need in the second column we need the image we can copy this and uh, paste here and the image uh, the name of the image is WS I think uh, this one just rename and copy this name and you can paste it here in place of this we need to paste the new name of uh, which we have created and just check so this image has been applied 
uh, here the width of the uh, that uh, video is not good as you can see So we'll see it uh, later on. Uh, let's move further. Let's check. Uh, place uh, the image. This, uh, this we have already done. Place inline style into HTML so that each image fits width to the table file, table cell with its aspect ratio maintained. So for we have to apply inline style. You can write style is equal to width 100% so, uh, let us check so this is an offset to the uh, web page and for uh, this image also we need to apply the same we can copy it two images we have applied this is a inline style this is fit to the browser so now for this we can apply the height so it's looking good now but here width is not showing this width is ok but for this video we can use height Uh, not good. Width is good. So it's uh, applied. Now move further. So this three marks question we have already done. Place in the cell D the con D the contains of the file text. This one display the text as two paragraphs. Add the third para paragraph as a uh, Paragraph the test web page updated by followed by your name, center number, and candidate number. Apply style P to all the test in cell T. So firstly, we need to copy this uh, test. This test, copy it, and uh, we have to apply it in a D column, which is a D. This one D means after these images we need uh, D column so this is a D column I think so here we need paragraph tag and use P close paragraph tag you can use for that and then just uh, refresh the test uh, here it is written the test uh, you can see yes and the question is what uh, in two paragraphs means in second paragraph uh, we need to write web page updated by your name center number and candidate number similarly here again uh, you can use uh, p tag and uh, edited by your name center number and candidate number mm. you can use commas uh, for this purpose you can refresh it uh, you can see this ok uh, next apply uh, style p to uh, cell d already applied 5 marks question we have done Place in cell a test e uh, pieces ocean waste and contact us to help. These things we have to apply species in e species and uh, ocean waste here ocean waste 
and context us to help in here. So we need to apply H1 in all these. H1 heading. And here we need to close it. So this two marks question also we have completed I think and, and uh, refresh it and you can see so apply H1 to all this test place in cell H the contents of the file this apply H2 to this task H, H uh, is the last one in the last one we need to apply the test and H2 tag in that this m21 test m21 test we have already applied uh, here they were asked ocean.txt by mistake i think we have picked uh, another one here we did something wrong here we need this one not that one this one and uh, here we need h2 tag and uh, that is uh, this one copy it and uh, paste here and close h2 keep on checking uh, while working here so it's uh, good so next uh, what they are asking attach the style sheet to this web page uh, so we need to attach this uh, web page this style sheet to our web page for attaching uh, in title you can use the link or rel style sheet type test CSS and href and then the save refresh uh, this style sheet has been attached or not how will I co we come to know link rel style sheet type test or CSS and uh, href this will come to know if this file is attached or not we can just remove it then we can check is there any effect of that and after pasting it we'll see is there yes it is uh, attached so let us move further yes save your web page uh, we have done open the and edit this uh, style sheet which we have just attached we have to edit it center uh, center line all the tables within the browser window set the background of the web page so that its color is blue component this one red component this one or green component this one set the font of the style h1 h2 and uh, the paragraph style so that the browser select the display font Arial. If font is not available then browser selects the displays font Verdana. If neither of these fonts are available then the browser should display the default sans serif fonts set each of these fonts as black. Set h1 to be center line set uh, style h2 and paragraph style as fully justified and uh, name center number and kind number as a comment of the at the start of the style sheet save this style sheet in your ocean folder take the screenshot to show the file name and all the contents of the style sheet 12 and then place the screenshot uh, make sure the contents of your style sheet can be easily read so let us uh, edit this style sheet so here it is this one i think this one is a style sheet right click and open test editor so this is a uh, our style sheet let me do the formatting first 
so that should be easily be uh, read So firstly, uh, our table should be aligned in a center. It means you can apply margin auto. Uh, first condition was this one. So just check now it is in center. Good. So next, uh, they have asked uh, where is that? So this is a data analysis. Background of the web page uh, D5 uh, component blue, D5 red, RGB in RGB format we need for body. For that, uh, we can use body tag. Here, body. In this uh, background color, that is RGB. Uh, R is uh, 9A, 9A and uh, G is uh, AB and B is uh, D5. So let us check is it applied or not. It's not applied. So directly we can apply here. Ash. It is applied RGB format. So next, uh, set the font style of H1, H2, and a paragraph style so that the browser selects all the displayed in Arial, Vardana, and then the self. H1 and H2 both. Uh, for here, uh, we can apply H1 and H2 both, and the font font family. That is uh, firstly Arial, the second is Vardana, and in the last option is Sans Serif. Okay. So this uh, has been applied. So now, next, uh, Vardyava asked uh, set H1 is a center aligned. H1 is here. Uh, for that, you can apply test align center. H1 is already been center aligned. Test align center. Yes. Uh, next, H2 paragraph style as fully justified. H2. Test line justified. For that is not justified. Uh, we can search for this. Justified and paragraph style in CSS. Test justify, uh, just you can use text align justify uh, yes for that you can use text align justify not justified uh, yes so 
so it's justified completely so move further and the name center number and kind number in the comment to start of the style sheet uh, save this style sheet in your ocean folder and uh, make screenshot of comments on the style sheet so yeah in the beginning uh, we need your name center number and candidate number and uh, save it place your screenshot of the contents of your style sheet display html source of the web page in your editor display the web page uh, this uh, this way it is going to be completed firstly they have asked take place the screenshot of evidence uh, to make you have the content of your style sheet for this we need a screenshot uh, you can take the screenshot or you can copy it simply uh, this is not showing uh, for this purpose uh, you can just remove the spaces so that should be on a single page screenshot and you need your candidate number also a uh, little bit formatting you have to do for bringing it on a single page okay now it's okay now take a screenshot evidence to and uh, place it in your screen uh, here insert image evidence to and then uh, evidence three they have asked uh, take your html source place as uh, yes, html source we need here html tools is this one and uh, copy you can take the screenshot of this also so easily it will be a readable evidence 3 and uh, place it here insert image and evidence 3 so after that uh, they have asked for the browser windows and 49 question is completed thank you hopefully you have understood this uh, thank you very much